should remember how it feels to do something really well, to know that you've done it really well. And in fact, we'll throw in the extra of people go, wow, look at that. Okay, and they can see how well you did. Okay, now think, feel, believe, remember how good that feels. Okay, because every time I touch you like this, I want that feeling to come flooding through your mind and body. Can you do that? Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to think about something um, that maybe appears to be a challenge in your current life. Maybe it's a challenge because it's hard to do, or maybe it's because it's hard to get yourself to do it. Right? Can you think of a time like that? Okay, now when you think about that challenge, sweetie, what I want you to do is think about facing that challenge. Only now, feel this. Okay, and as you look at that challenge now, how, what changes about that challenge? That looks like fun. It looks like fun, right? Because we're identifying a resource she has. Right? Do you mind if I talk to them for a minute? Okay, you just stay in trance, okay? Identifying a resource she has. She has succeeded at something, and she, she felt good about succeeding. Other people noticed she succeeded, and they go, wow, look at Sessie go. Right? And now we take that, because that's a resource, and every time get to feel that way, right? And then I had her imagine something that might be a challenge. Okay, and we're just going to test. Can we bring this feeling back on command? Okay, and she imagines the challenge. And again, those of you in the front row, notice she started looking kind of quizzical, a little concerned when she's thinking about it. Because challenge, words have meaning. I mean, if it's not going to be hard, we don't think of it as a challenge. Right, so it presupposes some difficulty. It's like, oh, I don't know, but then we go confidence and think about that challenge okay and it completely reframes it because now this incredibly rich resource is flooding through her thoughts okay she feels she remembers what it feels like viscerally in order to have succeeded and be confident she can do it again okay? and then when she looks at the challenge feeling this way the challenge turned into something it seems like fun Right? What a huge state change. Right? What an incredible threshold for someone to realize that what you thought was a challenge, the difficulty, you just, you added in all this crap to it. Maybe it's just, maybe the difficulty is you just don't understand how to do it yet. But you told yourself, oh, you know, I, I, I must be stupid, I don't know how to do this. You know, you add in all this emotion. Just change the emotion. Now, I did a literal physical trigger so that every time I touch her here, she feels that way, right? But this is just a learning mechanism. All of these tools, yeah, I know I keep firing off, so just go ahead and feel really successful and happy, okay? <laughs> Think about what a great demo subject you are and succeeding and everyone gets to see it. It feels good, and that's right. In fact, with every word I say and every breath you take, just become more and more relaxed and happy, okay? <clears throat> the physical touch is a training tool, okay? We don't want her stuck in a place where the only way I or anybody else or herself could trigger this, I mean, she doesn't want to say, oh, I, I need to feel confident. She starts tapping her wrist, okay? Because the actual change mechanism is inside, inside her mind. So I want you to think of another challenge, another challenge you're going to face, difficult to do, difficult to make yourself do. And this time, as an act of will, I want you to think, feel, and believe that these feelings of confidence and success are being fired off inside your mind. And how does that change the challenge? Looks like more fun again. Looks like, yeah, it looks like more fun again, right? This fast. Okay, it's not just because she's a great subject, she is, but this is the normal, correct response. People change at the speed of thought. 